is your auto insurance going up this year? So it may have nothing to do with your driving record. Joanne Purden shows us some of the other factors that could have a huge impact. Take a look. Insurance companies have told us for years that good drivers get discounts. Then you may be stunned by a report claiming that some good drivers are paying higher premiums than drivers who have had accidents. You hear in radio and TV commercials all the time that good drivers pay less. But the Consumer Federation of America now says some of the largest auto insurers frequently charge higher premiums to safe drivers than to those responsible for accidents. The report explains that accident history is just one factor that goes into your insurance premium and says lower income drivers often pay more. In 2015, Consumer Reports released similar findings after a two-year investigation. It found many major insurance companies base prices in part on a hidden credit score. That car insurance credit score is different from your FICO score and how it figures into your premiums varies depending on your insurer and your state. The 2015 research compared rates for hypothetical drivers who are single with a clean driving record. In Michigan, the average annual premium for those with an excellent car insurance credit score was over $2,300. With a good score, it was over $2,700. And with a poor score, it was just over $5,700. That was just slightly lower than for those with an excellent score and a drunk driving conviction. Someone's credit, someone's driving ability are two different things. State Representative Brian Banks is the Democratic Vice Chair of the House Insurance Committee. It's just legalized discrimination. But the Insurance Information Institute sees it differently, based, it says, on years of research, including government studies. Insurance companies have been studying this now for 20 years, and they've all found that insurance-based credit scores are effective at predicting who is likely to be in an accident. That is not discriminatory rating, that is fair rating. Representative Banks says Michigan is one of just a few states that also allows one's education, occupation, and zip code to be factored into rates. He's co-sponsored a number of bills over the years to prohibit the use of those factors and credit scoring. Why is it not making it out of the legislature? Um, because we've got to work more in a bipartisan way. Uh, and that hasn't been done. There are a handful of states that have already banned the use of credit scoring and setting rates. Representative Banks thinks what matters most isn't being considered enough. We've got to look at making insurance more fair and equitable. And how do we do that? Only using one's driving record and their mileage to and from work. That may become a reality in the years to come with telematics, which includes those devices insurance companies provide that you put in your car that shows how many miles you drive, how fast you go, say how hard you brake. To this point, insurance companies haven't been able to count on people accurately reporting how much they drive or the kind of driver they are. Telematics could change that. I'm Joanne Purton, 7 Action News.